Hey guys, Richie here. I'm doing a YouTube video for StarCraft players who may or may not have um, carpal tunnel or sore wrists or fingers, arms, those kind of things. I mean, the nature of the game is we play for long hours and our fingers are doing hundreds of actions. Uh, you know, very fast type moving, a lot of the wrist and the mouse hand, a lot of fingers and the keyboard hand. So yeah, this is about how you can go about fixing that pain. TLO in the background, good stuff, way to go TLO. He's, the reason why he's in the stream is because I know he's dealt with a lot of these issues as well, you know, and a lot of people think it's carpal tunnel and whatnot, and it absolutely it could be carpal tunnel syndrome, uh, but there's some things that a lot of people don't know of that I kind of want to just educate you a bit on and give you some help if you're feeling a bit sore in your wrists, your fingers, your hands, if you're getting any numbness, if you, you know, just having any sort of pain, like for a while back before I figured out how to treat this, it would hurt just when I would open a door with my hand like this. After about two to three games of StarCraft, uh, my fingers would begin to get sore. So I really had to reach out to someone and find a way that I could deal with this sort of pain and continue playing because of course, as we all know, StarCraft is the best game in the world. It's very hard to quit. It's not addicting, it's called challenging and we always wanna improve ourselves so that's why we keep playing, right? So let me explain a few things to you uh, how it relates to um, getting rid of your pain, okay? So I wanna talk basically about massage. You know, a lot of people don't understand what massage is, to be honest, I'm not an expert in it either. But um, like most people, if you're from Asia, like you think of massage as this kind of weird place where guys go and, you know, girls touch them or whatever, you know, there's some sexual activity sometimes. And, you know, I don't know, I don't go, but you know, it's, it's in your face. When you're in Asia, everyone knows about it. And um, those massages are terrible because those girls are not there to make money from massage and they're often really weak and they don't provide you any good therapy you know and then there's another kind of massage people think about it's like oh I want to go and relax and I want to feel nice and I want someone to touch me with oil right you know maybe that feels good and that's relaxing but that's not really gonna help you okay so the massage I'm talking about today is basically self massage you can do it yourself and it's about trigger points Trigger points is something I just found out about from my good buddy Paul. He runs a gym just outside of Vancouver, British Columbia. Very smart guy. And he's been telling me about trigger points for a couple weeks, um, maybe even a couple months actually, but I didn't really buy into it as much as I should have, right? Because I didn't really read up on what trigger points are. And the thing is, is that trigger points are, they occur on the muscle, okay? And people have not been studying the muscle in the last 50 years as much as they should because there's no specialty around muscles, right? Maybe you're a bone doctor, or maybe you're a joint doctor, or maybe you're just you know, dealing with other types of medicine, but not a lot of people, even um, gym people, are not really too involved with muscle research, okay? Like physiotherapists, they help you with your muscles, they give you stretches and whatnot, but only recently was the research done to understand what trigger points are. And now basically trigger points occur on the muscle where they're attached to the bone. Okay, and what happens is when we get pain, it's often referred pain from those trigger points because the body likes to send the pain externally away from our central organs, okay? That's just the nature of the body. So lately I've had a lot of pain in these two fingers, okay? But if I just independently move these fingers up and down, I can feel them attached to the muscle right around here. If you do this, what I'm doing right now, just move these fingers and you'll be able to feel the muscle in here. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you can kind of see that on the screen, right? HD, baby, that's what's up. So what you actually want to do is take like a little ball. This is like a squash ball. And you want to just work that area um, like, like so, kind of working it for about 30 seconds, no more than a minute, okay? Trigger points, when you stimulate them like this, it sends blood to the area and it allows it to release because um, what happens is if you don't get good circulation here, if you don't get a little massage on it, um, the trigger point gets activated or it can also be latent, but in either case, it's gonna cause pain in other places. So immediately after I do these type of massage, I feel a lot better, okay? So you, 
for, for StarCraft players, I really think you're going to want to work all the way from the hand up to the shoulder. You can feel some trigger points in here. Ooh, yeah, it feels good. See, the thing about trigger points is when you're massaging them properly, you just want to roll over it nice and easy, but more so, you want the pain level to be about 5 out of 10, okay? So 6 and 7 out of 10, you're going to be squinting. It's too much pain, but 5 out of 10 is like delicious pain, okay? That's what they say. So, yeah, you want to find trigger points. Oh, there's one like right here too. So pretty much unless you're sitting at perfect posture at a perfect angle, my monitor is too low so my neck is not quite perfect. So I actually have to do a lot of trigger points in the low, the high back because the high back actually will lead to a lot of neck pain. And also there's some good ones right in the back here, but you probably want to use a tennis ball for anything on the back. And yeah, just try it like two to three times a day. Do it right before you play or right after you play. You can also get like a long sock and put the tennis ball in the sock and then put it over your shoulder and then go against the wall, okay? So you just kind of want to working out your trigger points. So some people, they don't have any trigger points or whatnot because maybe they're always walking around and they stay very loose. But for gamers, you know, you're sitting for so long. Um, and also some people get massages that actually work these out. Maybe their partner, girlfriend, or boyfriend is able to give them a massage and just kind of work these tense areas out. You know, it's not so much just about working the whole body. You really want to find these areas where it's about five out of 10 pain. So it's going to be painful, but you can relax into it. You take a couple deep breaths and you're going to feel really good. So yeah, totally try it, especially working in the forearms. You can also massage the fingers a little bit with the ball. It feels really nice. But one of the things you got to realize is that actually pain typically at that source. So in my fingers, treating my fingers wouldn't have helped me. It was working this area which gave me the relief. And now I don't get that same, um, I was getting this really painful sensation when I open doors flat with my hands. And even if I play all day or I play like a few hours, um, yeah, I'll, I might get this pain back, but now I finally have a way to treat it. So trigger points can take a couple of weeks to completely like work that area out. Um, sometimes it can get a lot of relief after just one use. It depends on how long you've had these trigger points, right? So think of them kind of like knots in the muscle. Um, and you know what? If you really want to, um, if you want to really know more, actually the book that I studied and learned from is a really good book. You can buy it on um, Kindle. It's called the Trigger Point Therapy Workbook. Let me just get the cover for you, just so you can see a nice clear shot. Okay, so it kind of looks like that. Um, let's see if I can get some focus on here. Yeah, there you go, okay. It's a blue cover, but um, yeah, you should. I'll put a link in the bottom of the YouTube video. This book is so helpful because it shows, like let's say you have pain in your neck, your lower back, or wherever, you go to that section, it will tell you what the likeliest trigger point is and it will move down the list. So if you don't have any pain at that location of the trigger point, then you move on to the next one and maybe it's a different one because different trigger points can all have an effect on the body. And in fact, reading this book teaches you a lot about the body. You know, you should really understand the muscles, what everything do, does. And what's great is that once you find the trigger point once, it's like you can instantly find it. Like I know exactly where to go on my forearm here. And yeah, I just work it like three to four times a day. I use the wall. You, for some of them on your back, um, you can lie down on your bed and put a tennis ball underneath and just kind of roll over. There's some really great tools. I'm out in Hong Kong. We don't have access to a lot of things. There's something called the stick. Look it up. Just Google the stick. It's an exercise tool. Paul recommends it to everybody. Um, get a foam roller. Those are like kind of those long tubes. They're kind of width, uh, have like a width of the size of maybe like, I don't know, five inch diameter. Um, those can be really good for working your thighs and um, especially under here, there's so many trigger points under here and it can lead to all sorts of pain in your shoulders. So don't be worried about ice and or heating up your muscles or anything like that. It's simple, just light self-applied massage. I think you should definitely try, look into it. The book wasn't that expensive. It was less than 15 um, American dollars, I believe. So yeah, check it out. I hope this video is helpful for you guys. It's been this stuff's been really helpful for me, and I just, if I can help one or two other people, that's great. All right? Take it easy.